What's up, guys? It's your boy Daryl, aka E Cross Gaming. Decided to do a, a vlog. Uh, little things going on in my life. Um, pretty much uh, fire between the fire company and stuff like that. And uh, my channel. No, I've been lacking a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh, just work, work, work. Um, wanted to bring you guys an install that I'm doing today on my SUV um, being part of the fire company so uh, I got one side in and I got to work on the second side so I don't want to bore you guys with the details and whatnot so I'm going to show you the one side that I already did and you guys tell me if you like it and then I'll show both sides with the finished product so we're in we're in the vehicle right now so as you can see i got the first side up um it's a visor mount it's also got this uh second piece here for the second visor that's sitting over there didn't install that yet um i got it mounted under here in the brackets so that was like a pain in the fucking ass so i'll go ahead and show you what the first half of it looks like hope you guys definitely like that from, from I mean, anyway from my firefighter guys so I don't know if you can see it but that's what the first half looks like um, go ahead and get up on it So as you can see, it's pretty. It's it's pretty well hidden. You know, we'll, we'll back up into the garage a little bit. Um, so yeah, it is pretty well hidden. It's up there in the visor. You can see it. That's just one side. I uh, got to do the other side. Uh, I'll turn it off just to show you that. Uh, so I got it set to a uh, just a switch. So we go ahead and we turned it off. Can't even can barely see it. Uh, so I'll be back with the other side, guys. What's up, guys? We're back. Uh, now I got the second side up. I'll show you guys real quick. There's the bar. There's the brackets. Pretty much what you got to do on these brackets. If your car has this little clip thingy, majigger here, just pop this off. It's a. Uh, it uh, shows the screws. Just unscrew it a little bit, slide this piece in, unscrew this, slide the piece in. As you can see, there it's sturdy. The bar is not going nowhere. Screw it back up. Put the clip placeholder, whatever. See my see this kind of broken only because this bar is super thick. But I really don't have anybody to be in my uh, passenger seat anyway, so nobody's going to be really using my visor that much. Um, like I said, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. Both sides are in. Um, so we're gonna show you the. Uh, so there's a cigarette plug right there. I ran it uh, up here, down through the column, all the way down underneath uh, the bottom panel here uh, into this, so it just holds it in place. I'll probably do a better job. Uh, figure out a different place to run it maybe on the side here uh, have it come up and it's gonna plug into my cigarette lighter uh, right like so once it's plugged in we're gonna turn it on as you can see the red light is on off red lights off turn it back on again the red lights on this button here is to change the pattern on the uh, light bar so let's go see what it looks like um, you can see it barely flashing down here so definitely doing this thing so we're gonna walk out to the other side of the vehicle and boom they're both in baby so that's how you do the UBL version 6.2 install this is an 05 Ford Explorer. Um, nonetheless, it's an Explorer. Uh, I didn't really like the color choice of red. But as you can see, it's working 
amazingly. Yeah, it's well hidden. Uh, the visor, like I said, it's not going anywhere. It's under the visor. Uh, we'll switch sides here. So you can see the side view. That's the second one. We'll go ahead and uh, change the pattern for you guys. Actually, we'll, we'll come out right here. And I'll reach in. We'll change the pattern. There's a pattern change right there. There's another pattern change. I I prefer I like that version of the pattern better. Um, so definitely that's that's a pattern that I would go with. Now I did buy uh, this came with a bundle from UBL uh, Ultra Bright Ultra Bright Lights uh, It came it was on sale for the Memorial Day weekend, and I needed to upgrade my light bar anyway. So I bought it, I spent $189, where this bar is really by itself $199. So now I have this bar, and then I, it came with two T3s. I'm not going to install the T3s on this vehicle, only because within the next couple of months, I'm probably going to be changing the uh, T3s out, uh, this vehicle out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that install. Until next time, guys, this is your boy P. Cross, Gaming. AK Daryl and we're out of here. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.